English 121, Day 1, Struggles and Strategies for Students New to College-Level Reading, from the Allen and Bacon Guide, pages 87 to 98. College-level academic writing, like we will be reading throughout this course, can sometimes seem difficult for or over the head of newer students. This is mostly due to difficult subject matter. Dealing with complex issues means dealing with complex and specific sets of information. Several factors in particular can make a text difficult to understand. First, take difficult vocabulary. Many academic texts contain specific and unusual vocabulary that is particular to a certain field of interest, be it building codes or biochemistry. Moreover, many fields of study contain vocabulary that carry contextual meanings that evoke a whole history of conversation and debate that would be inaccessible, even through a specialized dictionary, without fully initiating yourself into these conversations. Always use a dictionary when reading. Also challenging can be an unfamiliar rhetorical context. Keep in mind that writers write to an audience for a purpose arising from some motivating rhetorical occasion. Knowing why a writer is constructing an argument and who the argument is written to can help a text make a great deal more sense. Oftentimes, you will have to interpret this research for yourself or even do outside research to be sure. Also confusing can be an unfamiliar genre. In your college reading, you will encounter a range of genres. Each of these types of writing makes different demands for you as a reader and requires unique reading strategies. Finally, especially challenging can be a lack of background knowledge. Writers may make assumptions about you as a reader and what you already know about a certain set of information. If a writer assumes incorrectly, you can be left confused about a text's real meaning. Expert readers use many strategies to overcome these challenges. Whenever you encounter any kind of difficult material, it is helpful to try a few things to make more sense of what is on the page. First of all, consider reconstructing the rhetorical context. Ask questions about purpose, audience, genre, and writer, and try to figure out who is writing the text and for what purpose and to whom. Once you understand a text's rhetorical context, the choices the writer has made might make a great deal more sense to you. Secondly, always take notes when writing. Use the reading matrices you have been assigned as well as other note-taking strategies to make sure that you can record and keep track of the information as you are reading it. Next, always use a dictionary. There are a plethora of online dictionaries that can be accessed at the click of a mouse and there is no longer any excuse for failing to look up a word or words if they are confusing to you. Just taking a few seconds to understand the meaning of the vocabulary in the text can make all the time you spend reading the text much more worthwhile. Finally, read in a multi-draft way. Speed up and slow down your reading as needed as you read and reread to make sure that you are getting a sense of the main ideas and specific information within the text. Novice readers usually read a text the entire speed every the same speed every time they read. Keep these strategies in mind and your college level reading will be much more effective and efficient.